now that we have reviewed some strategies to address burnout, how can we know that what we're experiencing personally or the signs we're seeing in a colleague are the result of burnout as opposed to typical stress? Here are some specific signs to look for. Fatigue and sleep issues. While teaching for eight hours would make anyone tired, experiencing fatigue before your day even begins and on a consistent basis may be an indicator that you're dealing with more than just normal stress. Add to this the difficulties you may be having with sleep, whether it be falling asleep or staying asleep, due to racing thoughts, stress, or feeling overwhelmed about the day ahead or signs that specific supports may be needed. Additional physical symptoms may include headaches, digestive issues, and in more significant cases, high blood pressure and even heart issues. Forgetfulness and trouble concentrating. Significant ongoing stressors will eventually impact the brain's ability to manage even the most basic of day-to-day activities to include being able to plan and problem-solve effectively. Timeliness, attendance, and overall job performance will also be impacted. This isn't to say a teacher won't be able to perform their job. Rather, they won't be able to perform it to their full potential. Examples here may include lower tolerance levels for typical classroom disruptions, challenges connecting with students as a result of emotional or physical distancing, and going through the motions rather than applying creativity and enthusiasm within their work with others. Mental and emotional distress. Chronic stress associated with burnout that goes unnoticed or unaddressed will frequently intensify into a more serious mental health condition such as anxiety or depression. These conditions can not only become debilitating, but will also exacerbate those previously mentioned. While we all may experience frustration, anger, and even job dissatisfaction from time to time, these emotions and the negative impacts of them become a constant when experiencing burnout. Teachers that dread going to work on a consistent basis or that feel like they're just trying to make it to the weekend week after week are likely experiencing mental and emotional impacts related to burnout. The end result in many of these cases is increased apathy, decreased concern about job expectations and performance, and loss of joy and interest in one's day-to-day work. As teachers, you are constantly giving to others. Like other helping professions, that is a basic part of your job. That said, if you fail to take care of yourself, you will quickly find that you have nothing left to give. You simply can't pour anything out of an empty cup. Understanding the elements of burnout and what it looks like in your work with students and other school personnel is important to prevent negative impacts in your work, relationships, and overall job satisfaction. So take a moment now and in the days ahead and really think about how you can start implementing some of these strategies we've discussed in your daily work routine. An intentional focus on personal care and wellness can help you take back control of your emotions and reactions to stressful situations, which will ultimately help you be the best version of yourself for you, your students, and most importantly, your families.